What you're saying from your mouth has to do with what you want people to think about you. You don't want them to see what's in those dark corners. You'd never have friends, right? You'd never have friends if they knew what was in your dark thoughts. So overcoming dark thoughts requires the light. To put a light on it. And you put a light on it by allowing yourself to be vulnerable to that which is trapping you. It's almost as if you become this and you escape out from under it. Do you see how that vulnerability works? You let go of what's holding you and you escape out the bottom. Some people try to escape what's holding them by fighting back, constantly fighting it. And that the conflict that's going on between what's holding you and you becomes this incessant thought over and over and over again. Why do I keep sabotaging myself? Why do I keep doing these things that wind up and so disastrous? How come when people come around me, they don't see me? It's because you're fighting that which is holding you. You're fighting against it. You have to be vulnerable to it so it doesn't hold you. It has no way to hold you. You see? So let's talk about what that is that would allow you that vulnerability. And you are our subject of that. <laughs> are you sharing this? Okay. So Trisha learned last night that she has a nose for death. This is her special gift. She has a nose for death. And how that works is she understands or will understand when she starts to follow that path and understand herself more from an internally spiritual level, that that forewarning wind that comes off of a body when a body is going to pass, she is able to smell it. Now it's not uh, an olfactory smell like you have. You have the ability to sense things from a fragrance way. But her, able, her ability to smell it is much the way Sandra can hear God. It's not an auditory hearing. It's a vibration that the closest to that vibration is auditory. So she calls up her auditory way in order to hear us. And even what we're doing now through her body is a vibration that's moving her vocal cords, it's moving her hands, it's showing you what we're expressing through her body movements. You're going to have the ability to experience their wave of vibration and you will feel it, smell it, see it, know it. So until she knew this, Things have happened in her life that have caused her great confusion. After a while, they're no longer going to be confusing because you know what they're related to now. But if you go through your life not knowing why you were born, all of the things that are in conflict with this start building up in you and actually toxify your body. Your body gets toxified by that which you do not know. The corners. You do not know what's in the corners. So fantastic ways of you are also lost. Because these dark corners create in you a sense of I'm not enough. So once you see that not only are you enough, but you're fantastic, you're amazing. Once you discover you're amazing, these corners, poof, because that amazing is a reflection of the great being that made you. 
and in that reflection is a continuation of the giant eternal nature a circle over and over and over and over 